All right, so this is my video of PRS gear. Um, I run a Assault 3 from Mystery Ranch. I got my Fix-It sticks in here. So those are your torque, ratchet, nut driver set. Um, from the bottom of my bag pack, I have a... So these are my preferred bags. This is a wax bag from Coltac with a Arca backbone setup. So that goes on the bottom of the rail of my PRS gun. This is an Armageddon Gear rear bag, a little squeeze bag. Um, I run a Armageddon Gear pint size wax game changer with sand fill. This pretty much adapts to any surface because of the wax and sand my Arca rail sits really nice and flat on it. Nice thing about this is when it's on a rail or it's on a barricade and my gun is in line with the bag, I kind of cradle that lobe there and put my thumb on my chassis, my stock, and I can load the chassis with the bag and manage recoil much more effectively. Um, the other bag that I like to run is a Coltac cuddle bag. Uh, the large size. So these are my three, well, four primary bags. I use pretty much these two for 90% of the stuff I shoot. Situational with this, but this weighs almost nothing, so I bring it with me. And then obviously my rear bag. These are what we're going to call optional bags. Um, optional for me. So we have a full-size game changer. Uh, weighs a ton. Um, kind of sucks to lug that around in the mountains. This is a tank trap bag from Coltac with the backbone system. Um, another situational bag. I don't use a whole ton. Uh, this is a small cuddle bag. I don't even know if it's considered a cuddle bag. But another Coltac bag. Smaller application. Weighs nothing, but I t generally don't use this. I use that. I do use this under my butt sometimes if I'm allowed to take as many bags as I want. And I can use my cuddle bag, pine size game changer, and then this under my butt for a very stable platform. Another backbone bag. Um, this is just your rail bag. Um, I'm going to get another version with sand fill and wax from Coltac. And I'll probably start using that more. And then this is obviously just a not a bag. Situational piece of equipment. Uh, ground cloth. Um, equipment that I do keep in my bag. This is a, what we call a gamer plate. Um, this one's a local guy that makes them. He sells them for like 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, it's like rhino lined. Uh, this gamer plate goes on the bottom of your gun. There's all kinds of gamer plates out there. Um, this one's fairly accessible from the side to get to the ARCA adjustment. And again, super situational. Sometimes you need a stable platform underneath your rail. You're shooting off a very, very flat surface. Um, instead of bringing bags or it's a stage that they say you can't bring a bag Sometimes this is kind of nice because this is considered part of your rifle um, So gamer plate cheater plate. I don't use it a whole lot uh, I typically use my pint size game changer for almost everything But situational use and it fits on my bag, so I still bring it with me um, Another situational accessory I do keep in my bag because it weighs nothing um, This is a Coltac rain jacket for your rifle. Rolls up and on itself, but it completely encompasses my rifle when it's raining. Keep it dry. Magazine pouches. Generally you need one for your rifle, uh, well, one on you and then one in your rifle. I carry two on me, um, just because moving in between stages, it's easier to carry on your hip. Um, I'm switching these over to Blade Tech Tech Lock, which fits that hole pattern. Uh, the belt clip's okay for now, but switching over to Tech Lock. These are ANR design, so we make these. CNC cut back informed, and we have a list of what mags they fit on our website. I'm running MDT 12 round mags right now. I really like the MDT 12 round mags. Pretty much the creme de la creme for AICS style mags. And then I keep an accurate mag 10 rounder as backup. This is a Coltac bullet book. The nice thing about the bullet book is it holds 150 rounds, goes in your pack when you're, you're packing between stages at certain ranges. Um, I numbered mine. So it says 0 to 15, and I mark the 10 mark right here, just so I can get round counts, so I know what I'm jamming into my mags. Um, it's nice having this because it's soft, it's malleable, and kind of 
molds to your bag when you're carrying it. Knee pads. These are Cry Precision knee pads. I wear a pair of Cry Combat pants when I shoot. Um, it's just nice to have the integral knee pads so you don't worry about having the back of your legs get chewed up all day. Crux Ordnance tripod. Super utilitarian. I got Coltec leg wraps on it. Coltec drop canopy. Coltec shower cap. This shower cap is for my glass, my spotting glass. And then I have a Coltec uh, playbook here. It's got a little clipboard in there, a place to hold your kestrel if you want to leave it, pen. It's kind of nice. It hangs off the leg. Um, and then you can keep your course of fire in here for the day. Uh, I also keep a Kestrel holder on the legs. Kestrel 5700 is uh, what you need. Like, you actually need this. It's expensive, but it's, it is a need. Um, I run everything off of temperature and density altitude, and this Kestrel is the one that has density altitude. Uh, instead of putting in all your crazy parameters, density altitude answers 99% of the questions for your ballistic tables. Crux Ordnance has a really easy to use ball head. Um, that lever there, rotational here. Underneath is a little knob to do your roll, pitch, and yaw. I have an Arca adapter for it. This adapter is pretty cool because, what's the name of this company? So this is an outdoorsman binocular adapter. It's got that little pin there. This is how you lock it in place. And what it is, is for my binos. Comes with this uh, Allen key insertable stud that goes into your vortex. Uh, I, I like these vortex, what are these? Um, I forgot what power they are. These are the 12 to 50s. They don't have a range finder built in, but they have a really nice field of view. Um, it locks right in. So basically, you insert it in here. You can tighten this down. And uh, it's got a little bit of roll to it, but it's a cutie for your glass. If you're moving between stages and you don't want this to protrude, just press that button, it comes right out. On my rifle, I'm running a Coltac sling. I can tell you it's pretty much used to transport the firearm. I never really use it in stages. Atlas bipod with an Arca adapter with an Arca rail on my Kelblees. Uh, Hawk Hill Customs talon feet. I have a uh, Hawk Hill Customs um, playboard it goes on the side, Velcro is on. I can toggle this here so I can look at my dope. Uh, other than that, Thunder Beast Arms suppressor with an Area 419 Hellfire self timing muzzle device uh, that goes up inside so it's got wrench flats and it becomes a sacrificial muzzle device that you can unscrew your can with. With that being said, I hope that answers most of your questions and uh, the gear that I use. Watch some of our PRS videos on our YouTube channel or our Instagram, and you'll get an idea of how I apply those uh, different bags that I, that I use. Hey all, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, leave us some feedback in the comments below.